then okay I'm gonna let go so I'm gonna multi cut too maybe I'll start here and cut across like open it wide this may or may not work right and there's a reason why I'm doing this see I'm keeping this much distance a healthy healthy amount of uh, distance and I'm gonna zoom in and this guy right right here so it reconnects and closes I closed it see so it's a little bit more natural right and it's yeah it's trying to reconnect down there maybe I might just need to do that I mean, what I could do is um, multi-cut maybe I'll cut down to here right let's go up there grab this delete it right and then delete it see almost there I'm just looking to see how it's behaving if it's acceptable or not his biceps are just too too thick crap. crap god damn it there pull up a bit Maybe I'll go edge slide, slide this guy back, grab that, slide him back like that. Because when you slide it back, it'll loosen up its uh, grip. It's a. Uh... Okay. I also want to grab this and this. See, this part's penetrating. Turn off edge slide, turn off, tuck this back. He still looks kind of jacked right now. Turn off edge side. He looks too buff. losing its shape a lot. Grabbing this part is collapsing in. You see it's collapsing? So maybe you need to tuck it out. Out bit. So it's more like um, I scaled it this way, right? That with a line, it's more aligned together. See these lines? See how they're nicely um, aligned and in sync? Then I can pull it back a bit. So it doesn't look so wobbly. I use a scale tool a lot to make them not look so wobbly. It causes a uh, uniformity. So if I R, see what I'm doing right here? I grab this guy. Grab this. 
Take it back again. I am not using edge slide. There. Maybe this part, I'm gonna push this back a bit. Maybe grab this and push this back a bit. He looks too buff, that's why. Yeah, I gave him too much volume, so I gotta have it wrap around his uh, arm better. Like that. See what I'm doing? Grab that and then maybe push this back a bit. Right, like this. Something like that, see what I'm doing? Right here, see? It's wrapping around. Using this. You know, tuck this down a bit. Grab, grab that. Tuck it like that. Grab all of those. Uh, I noticed this guy right here. So I'm hiding some body parts. Anyway, grab all of this, right? Say this, put in its own layer. Right, grab those. Put them in their own layer. Right. Then let's see if I wanted to you know fix this. Multi-cut tool. Wait, object mode, multi-cut. Uh, maybe I'll end it here. Let's see what this does. Alright. Grab that. Delete it. Grab that. Delete that. And I just use a backspace. See? I'm trying to make it look kind of believable. You know, like if this was a toy that was uh, came out of a weld. Right? And this right here is super wobbly. You see how these uh, edges, they're really wonky and like wobbling. Uh, what can help it is to scale it. See, I'm looking at my scale. If I do this, it'll uh, make it uniform. See, I'm just pressing down on that guy. It's important to know what scale axis you're doing. See? And then, maybe this right here is too much, so I grab this, this, and this, and this. Or just, just these right here. Tuck that in. See? That way it's not so um, noticeable. And I even kind of made an elbow for him. There's his elbow. Kind of like that. So you know, you could do things like this and this is where it starts to be kind of fun too. So grab this and pull, pull it. Grab those, right? It's kind of collapsing too much, too fast. See? See right here? This is collapsing. There. See, it's starting to look more and more like a toy. Now I'll double click that. This probably could use some, you know, scale it like that. See how I'm Controlling the um, the volume of it, you know. And then I can go in, like I'll grab this right here and I'll tuck it in a bit. All right, I'll grab that. I'll tuck that in so it doesn't penetrate through the his uh, chest cavity. All right, and I'm just using some artistic license. All right. Grab that, maybe I'll do that a bit. Then I could even go here. I can grab some of these edges, just maybe two, right? Maybe I'll just tuck it a bit so it bevels out. I made a nice little bevel. I can grab, say, this vertex right here. Just 
do that a bit so it bevels. See how it's beveling? Let's grab that, push this out, right? Got some uh, wobbling going on, so maybe I'll touch it up, push that, push this back out a bit. So this is where the, a lot of modeling happens. This one probably could slide down a bit. See? And this part you could go and touch up. You know, would it be like this? I'm using the multi cut tool. Press delete, press delete, press 3. See? And this, oof, it's a bit nasty right here. So what I could do is manu manually reshape it. See this part? So this part, it's a little tricky, right? I could go and uh, uh, press D, the D key, and I'll go Control Shift. You know what? Press W, get out of it. Right now it's crazy. This angle is crazy. I want just a perfect up and down right now, right? And then I'm gonna press D as in David. I'm trying to find my angle, right? See this angle right here? So I'm looking around, looking upside down, right? Oftentimes upside down helps too. I'm gonna just rotate this down. Right? I'm trying to pick an angle to pull it out. Right? Because if I press 3, you see this? I don't like this. It looks like a dent. So I'm trying to find my angle. Right? And you see this, this arc? That I'm using that as a clue to rotate it. See what I'm doing? I'm carefully doing stuff like this. Stuff like that. So I find this angle, this line of action. Press the press the plus sign to make it bigger, plus sign. See? And I'm just kind of carefully doing this, like that. Doing some of this. I like that. So why did I go through all that trouble? Right, just to match his sleeve. I'm matching the axis of the his sleeve. See the sleeve? All that trouble. Now I press W to get out of it. Now look what I do. See what I'm doing? This is one of the secrets that I was uh, uh, trying to share with the class that this will help a lot. I'm going to press D as in David. I'm going to find my rotational angle. Like that, right? Like this, and like this. See what I just did? The key is just to be patient with it. Press W. So all that trouble is just to do this. See what I did? And see how it's maintaining the, the structure of, uh, of his uh, forearm wrist. And, and the shape looks nice. Like it's been blended in on purpose. See? Now just gotta do this part. And um, yeah. So I even like it where maybe it'll stop over here. So what I could do is even... Um, I could experiment, merge vertices, target weld tool. Alright, I did that and have it end there, see? And if it's too strong, I could slide, I could slide this. All right, so make it less noticeable, but still to show that, you know, it's been made like that. You know? 
There's that elbow. See? And this part's pinching, it's kind of awful. Maybe you could go with something like this and maybe do something like that. Right? See what I did? This is redirecting the lines. Oh, that's nice. See that? Hopefully, hopefully uh, people are watching this. I'm going to grab this. Right, I'm going to do an edge slide. Edge slide. There you go. So it blends in nicely if you choose to do so. Maybe I'll grab this, right? Grab, maybe I'll grab that, slide it up more, right? So, so it's more blended. So if my lines aren't too close to each other, they won't make a harsh edge and look more seamless. See? Much, much nicer. These edge loops that you made, they're good. They're very good. Okay, that's just to... I, mean, I don't really need to do that. This guy right there, we could delete it if you want. So right now I have an edge slide on, right? I'm just uh, tweaking the um, overall shape. All right, so that's, damn, that's 40 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna leave it like that. That was really long, man. Yeah. See, huge difference, see this? I mean, this is good good for um, like when you're first learning, right? And then this is where when everything gets more and more polished. leave it like that that was uh, awfully long okay um, I'm gonna dump this into your um, um, sync sketch page and uh, ooh. oh boy oh boy oh I did not see this I would, mm, this is going to be problems, yeah, god damn it, stop it, damn, I wish I caught this. Yeah, this guy too. Um, mm. All right, so I noticed this. It's not too bad. Grab this guy, right? And just tuck it up a bit. I'm just making room right now, right? And uh, let's go here. Ah, I gotta fix this, man. God damn. All right. Press four. Okay. It needs a cut line, multi-cut tool, and I'm going to do just a shift 
and just hold on shift right from the top here hold shift and we'll just align it like this hold shift and you drag it down right click vertex mode right hold shift and you drag it down that's the multi-cut tool and that straight line that it made again that's the multi-cut tool hold x and snap it then right click face mode grab this side because this side is where it's, there's damage delete it now the multi-cut tool that I did perfect cut line right and I did an X and snapped it to the grid now I'm gonna go edit duplicate special option box on the negative X apply And then uh, select both of it, mesh, combine, go down the middle, I'm in my front, shift right click, look at how much vertices we have, 36, merge vertices, down to 18, hopefully it didn't kill off too many, yeah, did the right thing, good, that way your thing is perfectly clean this it's okay um, the other thing too is I want uh, let me turn on uh, symmetry object X same shot with X, shift right click, multi cut. Alright, so it's doing on this side. I'm gonna cut across there. The reason I'm doing this, it'll help to maintain its shape, right? You see what I'm doing? I went here, down to here, to here, and you notice the distance I'm keeping. I'm gonna end it there. Press W. Then I'm gonna press G. I'm gonna reactivate that tool, right? Never mind all this blue crap because it's copying the other side. So you just gotta deal with it like that. Then I'm gonna cut here. All right, I'm just plopping it there. I'm gonna also on this line, click on it, drag it, let go, press W. So you can see what I'm doing. Press G, reactivate the multi cut. Click here, drag it. Go up here, click and drag go up here and connect it there there see see what it did that's what it did so that should have helped a lot this area here mm, I'm gonna now I need to turn off my symmetry okay good I'm just checking if there's any errors good well, this I don't like um yeah it's fine though well, I mean what I could do is shift right click multi cut and uh, what I'll do is maybe attempt to go in that weird shading it was doing if I do this so let me try to see if this will work let me first turn on my object x symmetry All right object x symmetry I'm gonna cut across here what I'm doing is I'm reinforcing the edge so maybe the shading will come back to normal yeah it did see so when I made this line, this line, it it Maya inter interpolates it as that it understands it, and it knows what to do from there in terms of the shading. It it prevented that weird shading. It gave it more information basically to say, hey, I want you to bend around this curve, and I don't want you to give me any uh, problems because I added this extra line 
and that line uh, helps to dictate and tell us that there's a surface plane and it won't just stretch and guess what it's going to look like. I don't know if that made any sense, but yeah, see? Then you could even grab this. I have a uh, Aja X symmetry on and maybe I could pull this, pull this back a bit. Right? And the reason why is um, it will be less pinching. So let's look at before. And Did I lose it? do this to that oh even better much better yeah it yeah because uh the more if you add the uh, specific lines it'll it'll calculate it better which it just did right now see smooth it out grab that maybe pull it back a bit all right it just makes for a, a softer bevel that's all it does because before it's kind of tight see now it matches this bevel and this before it was way tighter because you loosen it up and the bevels get looser Maybe this one, before I go, maybe I'll do an edge slide. See what I'm doing? When I do an edge slide, it still maintains the shape. See? See this? Otherwise, it'll, look, it'll make a block. But with the edge slide, it'll maintain the conform to the shape. There you go. It's softer now. Grab this one. It's ooh, didn't like that. Maybe, I, maybe I'll turn it off. I turn off the edge side. So when it comes to lighting and rendering, it'll have softer um, highlights. Because before it was a uh, uh, super um, crisp. So maybe oh shit. Maybe this part, right? You see this bend? See this? See how it's collapsing? See right here? It's collapsing. See, see? Right there, right there, see? It looks like an ass crack. So what you can do, like I said, shift right click, multi-cut, grab the multi-cut, cut down here. I have my object X symmetry, right? Now I'm gonna add, add uh, edge loop. Underneath, here I am. I'm underneath, upside down. And I'm gonna cut across. Maybe up to here. See what I did? This is what I did. And the reason why is making this line 
it adds information. It tells Maya, hey, you know what? There's a surface here, right? Because now there's a line telling me I have a plane. Since I have a plane, Maya will say, okay, I understand now. I see what you want to do. And it takes away that weird shading. It doesn't collapse up upon itself. And you could take it further, right? And you could just uh, pull it out. See? Now you got yourself a nice little transition. Just like in the um, toy. See? Because I remember the toy does something like this. And then here, I could do the same thing. Like this and this, right? Just those. Press 3, turn off my caps lock. I do not have edge slide. Edge slide will not do this for me. It's gonna just get out of whack. Boom. See? Nice. Very nice. Yep, 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 yep. See? And you could tone it down more if you want. You know? See? Less noticeable, but still there. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave it like that. Uh, everything else looks good, and maybe I would pull this up a bit, right? From what I remember, or was it like that? Right. And then this part, actually, probably would need one right around here. Oof. Select it. Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box, Reset it, Close it, Put one here, Put one. So when I added that extra one there, it made it give this nice little highlight, alright? And yeah. There you go. See? Nice little touch. This part, I kind of not digging. There. And then, uh, this part, maybe pull it up a bit. So it's a nice play on uh, the edges. And then this one, maybe pull up a bit. Just a bit. See? And then here, you know, you can go shift right click, extrude face, press R, right, extrude face and then press R, right, R for scale, like, shit. I'm just gonna grab that face. Shift right click, extrude face, now do a, I'll use the floating menu to offset, like that. Now it has a nice little inner bevel. Not bevel, but you see that transition? Grab that, double click it, drag it down a bit so you have nice and tight. See? Very, very nice. And I kind of want insert edge loop. Put one here. See? There. Little things. Lastly, right here. Just add one right there. So now you have a nice play on edges, nice semi crisp edges, and then it, it kind of has a nice little turn to it, right? It's a play on uh, soft curves and, and well controlled edges, right? That's what we're doing right now. There. 
so you can see it all these little highlights will read to be honest all these highlights this is good this is good very good cool yeah so yeah okay i'll leave it like that um uh, i highly recommend making those changes right i mean it's for your own good in terms of uh like portfolio and to show that you have a uh, advanced uh modeling knowledge and skills you know for a prospective uh employer and whatnot and you know it just makes for a overall nicer model right to go delete the history then this and this I think they should be combined right or maybe you could dump the hand into here the hand Right now, you can do this. See, Oof. make the hand. I need to go tuck it out a bit. So I tucked it out a bit. Give it that distance. Does this see? Oof, but this now. God damn it. It's good to see this. Alright. It's not it's not a hard hard thing to fix. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave it like that. So maybe if you wanted to fix that, um probably wouldn't be a good idea to uh parent it first this causes more problems but um you know you could just rotate it first and see where it needs to uh pull back where it's collapsing like here and then uh tuck it back a bit all this area right here all this area except for that see this i made sure to grab all the problem areas then I also have to grab the supporting edges, right? These are the supporting edges. See this? Make sure. And then tuck it. Boom. Then I can grab this. And then push this back. And then Negative one forty seven. There you go. Positive one forty seven. Shit. Ah damn it. Uh thirty two point one eight five. Yeah, so this was thirty two point one eight five. I wonder if I can redo this. No I cannot. Anyway, I'll leave it like that. So that's how you fix everything. Uh, I'll leave it as is. And I'm still debating where to send this file off to you, right? Because I think it wouldn't be fair to just use it, you know? Um, but if I send the file off to you and then you use it as a point of reference, 
and try to match the modeling, then you know that's uh, worth it, right? So I may just give it to you, and um, you know when you have your lighting rendering uh, to see if you actually did or not. I mean it's based off of uh, honor system, you know, but. I may do something to the file to know that whether it's mine or not. There's a little, you know, no offense, but there's a little tricks I can do to see if uh, it's being used. So just to see that people are being up and up. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I think I'll just send the file to you. But like I mentioned, I'm gonna add something to it to know that um, it's my file and that you only use it as a point of reference to fix your model. Yeah. All right, so that's it. Unfortunately, it is long, but um, hopefully you'll take advantage of what I'm sharing and make your model really, really, really shine. Because what I'm teaching, um, it'll probably boost your experience level by a good year year and a half maybe in terms of advanced modeling yeah all right that's it bye